Hello everyone, my name is Nipun Dharanjaya and I am a graduated master student at Skolkova Institute of Science and Technology, Moscow. Today I am going to present HyperDoc, an open source quadruprobot platform based on ROS2 and MicroROS. During the last decade, quadruprobot have made a huge attention due to their ability of exploring in the complex environments, rescue operations, and accomplishing tasks without putting human at a risk. Comparing to the other land-based mobile robots, quadruple robots have a better manual ability, allowing them to work on rough terrains. Due to these advantages, there are many ongoing researchers to develop quadruple robots to work on the all type of terrains as human and animals. Before further discussions, let me introduce the HyperTalk open source quadruple robot. HyperDoc is a fully open source quadruprobot and all the source can be found in GitHub. It has 12 degrees of freedom allowing it to change the roll, pitch and yaw angles of the body and perform omnidirectional movements. Currently, the robot can work with different two types of gates which are the trot and walk gate. As you see here, HyperDoc can withstand external disturbances. And overcome obstacles, changing its height where other types of mobile robots cannot overcome. Here the system overview of HyperDoc platform is shown. Whole system is based on ROS2 and MicroROS. ROS2 is used for running high-level control algorithms on onboard computer and MicroROS is used for running low-level algorithms on STM32 discovery board, which both are installed in the robot. As user interface for controlling the robot, we use a gamepad with joysticks. Using a PC running on Ubuntu, we are able to run the HyperDoc simulation. Joint of the robots are actuated by 12 digital servo motors with 7.5 newton meter maximum torque. At sensors, we use current sensors, an IMU sensor, and RealSense RGBD camera. The control system architecture of the HyperDoc is shown here. The whole control system is consisted with a command manager, locomotion planner, current sensor, server controller, and server actuators. Given commands from the gamepad such as start, change height, change step height, change step length uh, are received and processed by command manager. Locomotion planner is responsible of gate selecting, gate generating, maintaining zero movement point or ZMP to keep the robot move stably. This slide shows you the system architecture of Gazebo simulation environment. Launch and develop HyperDoc Gazebo simulation package on ROS2 installed Ubuntu PC. We can simulate and test custom locomotion algorithm easily and safely. As well as it can also work as a digital twin of the HyperDoc robot. Now I will explain the ROS2 HyperDoc control pipeline. Joynode reads the gamepad buttons and joysticks states and then publishes this information through Joytopic. Developed HyperDoc Telio package subscribes to Joytopic and makes commands which are start, walk, sidewalk mode, gate pattern, step length, step height, robot height, and robot angles of roll, pitch, and yo. These commands are then published to HyperDoc Telio commands topic, which is subscribes to HyperDoc control node. In turn, HyperDoc control node is run by the HyperDoc control package, and it has four main tasks, such as reading commands, generating gate, whole body controlling, and solving inverse kinematics. HyperDoc control node uses parallel processing for reading commands, reading gener gate generating, and whole body controlling to reduce the reaction time delay. And then it publishes the end effector coordinates for each 
like through hyperdoc foot coordinates topic. As for inverse kinematics, it's solved by IK node, which subscribes to hyperdoc foot coordinates and then calculates angle value for each joint of the all the legs. Next, it publishes through hyperdoc joints command topic, which can be subscribed by joint controller of hyperdoc gazebo simulation package to operate and test algorithm in the simulation. Moreover, with the help of micro ROS agent, hyperdoc joint slash command topic running on on board computer is subscribed by hyperdoc stm node which is a micro ROS node running on stm32 microcontroller the microcontroller controls server motor with help of pwm uh, drivers and read and process server motor encoder data and current sensors data which are then published through joint feedback and current sensor topic to the hyperdoc control node all the ROS2 and micro ROS packages are open sourced and can be found in the link which is shown below the leg design of the hyperdoc uh, quadruple robot is shown here each leg was designed with three dis degrees of freedom hip upper leg and lower leg we designed the leg taking all the three joint actuators close to the base joint or hip joint in order to reduce the inertia while dynamic motions. Having a less inertia of the legs allow the robot to have a smooth locomotion. All the legs were fabricated with 3D printed parts and CNC milled carbon fiber plates with 3 mm width allowing legs to have a good strength and light weight which is 0 0.9 kg. Lower leg is actuated through a spring damper, which helps to absorb impact, reducing jolting the robot and to prevent uncontrollable bouncing. Length of the leg links can be seen in the left bottom table and the joint angle range can be seen in the middle table. With this design, the robot can achieve 24 maximum height and 8 minimum, 8 centimeter minimum height. The most important part of any leg robot is gait generating. In order to have a robust locomotion, having a smooth gait generation is crucial. So now I will explain how the developed gait generator works. The main task of gait generator is to make stand phase and swing phase. Stand phase of the gait begins when the foot first contacts with the ground and ends when the same foot leaves the ground. Swing phase of the gate begins when the foot leaves the ground and ends when the same foot contacts with the ground. The design gate generator is depending on six main commands, which are robot height, step height, step length in x direction, step length in y direction, gate cycle time, and swing time. By changing step length in x direction and y direction, the robot can move omnidirectionally as it's demonstrated in this animation. One of the most common gate patterns among quadruple robot is um, trot gate due to its simplicity. The trot gate is a two-bit diagonal gate where the diagonal pairs of the legs swings while other diagonal pairs stands at the same time. This gate is statically unstable and dynamically stable. Developed trot gate has 50% of swing phase and 50% of stand phase. The other gate developed for hyperdoc is walk gate, which is both statically and dynamically stable. Each leg of the robot is lifted up and down sequentially, and there are three stands legs at least at any moment. The triangle made by these three stancing foot points is called a uh, stability triangle. Moving the center of gravity of the robot into a stability triangle, the robot can be statically and dynamically stable. In conclusion, Hyperdog Quadrope robot was designed and developed with less weight and less inertia and much more customizable features. Uh, open source control system based on ROS2 and micro ROS was developed. 
with high loop frequency which is 50 hertz and we also developed a gazebo simulation for users to easily uh, test and validate their algorithms uh, as future works uh, we are planning to develop a dynamic model of the hyperdog and develop path planning and autonomous navigation thank you for your attention if you have any questions we are happy to answer